video is going to show you how to use the website Scribed to upload and embed PDF documents right onto your website. And this comes in handy if you have a PDF document that you want to share with your website visitors and you don't necessarily want them to go into another window or page. So you can have a web page where you have the information about the particular document and then right under that information you can have the document itself embedded rather than a link that says click here to view the PDF or click here to read the free report. So for example, I use Scribe to upload and then embed a medical charge form that I created for a client right on my website. So rather than have an example, the example of the medical charge form and then a link to open a PDF in the other window, in another window, I have the text. Here is an example of a medical charge form D. Victoria created for a client and right below it is the actual form. And all I did was upload this document, which was a PDF document, to Scribed. So I'm going to show you how you can easily do that yourself. So the first thing that you'll need to do is to create a Scribed account. Once that's created, you would go ahead and click Upload. And then select whatever it is that you want to upload to Scribed to share on your website or blog. So I had chose the sample charge ticket and then you would agree to the terms of service and copyright policy. Obviously before you agree you would want to make sure that you read the terms of service on the website and click OK. And then it will go ahead and upload your document. Once your document's uploaded, click on My Documents. Select the document that you would like to embed. And before you go ahead and embed it, you might want to change some of the copywriting uh, notations and how people can utilize your document first. If you don't want them to print the document or download the document to make changes or whatnot, you can. S there are settings in here that you can utilize so that is not available to them. So you would simply click Edit. You can s then set it as public. Anyone can see the document. Or private. You can choose a category for your document to go into the language, the default view mode. You can then download. If you don't want people to be able to download your document, you can disable it or you can enable it, whichever you prefer. And then you can allow users, if you enable it, you can allow users to download it as a Word document, as a plain text file or PDF. So maybe if you want them to have this as a free report and they want us and you want them to be able to save it to their computer, you can enable the download and then just select it as a PDF download. You can allow comments, you can allow printing, you can allow copying, pasting, or you can disable all of these things. The choice is yours. Now in terms of allow comments, people would need to have a scribed user account and they would log in and they can make a comment on your document because in public mode, anybody on the Scribe community as well will be able to find your document and make a comment about it. Much like embedding a video from YouTube onto your website. When you embed a video onto your website, it's on your website, but people in the YouTube community t can still comment and view your video. So Scribed is kind of like the YouTube for documents. So then you can finally under license, select your license type. Is the document in a public domain? Do you want people to attribute, uh, provide attribution to the document you created or anything else? And then you would save your document. And now once your document is saved, you can share it and you can share it in a variety of ways. So you would click share 
This is how you're going to embed your document onto your website or blog. You can, you can change the width and the height. You can tell it what page you would like your document to start on. And you can also select the type of view for your document. Once, it, once you make those changes, you can then select which embed style you would like to choose. You can choose standard HTML if you want to embed this into an HTML website or to a page on your WordPress website or WordPress.com format. And you can use this embed code to embed it into a post on your WordPress.com blog or even into your WordPress website blog. So you would simply click copy. And outside of embedding, embedding this onto your website or blog, you can also choose to share the document that you uploaded to the Scribe website or Scribe community by sharing the full screen URL, or you can add it to your, your social media networks, Facebook, Twitter, StumbleUpon, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna show you how to use the standard HTML embed. So you would click copy go to your website. If you're using a WordPress website, or if you have a WordPress website, I should say, and you would like to embed a document into one of your pages, go to page view and click on whichever page you would like to add this code to. Once you're on that page, make sure you're in the HTML mode. So once you know where you would like to embed your document, go to that area and simply select control V on your keyboard, or you can also do edit, paste. Update your page, and then go to your page and view your document. So there you have it. That is how you use Scribed to embed a PDF document or a Word document or any other type of document uh, that is supported by Scribed onto your website or blog.